dear friends of TEDx Transmedia. I wish I could be there with you now, in person. I wish I could give you a big, warm, fuzzy hug. But I can't. So this will have to suffice. Because right now I'm exactly the opposite side of the planet, in Taiwan. Consulting with the government on what's possibly the most important thing that I've done in my life so far. Seeing if we can work together and improve the lives of millions of people through education and new ways of learning through a project called uh, Explory. It sounds funny, if I look back into my past, very few would have bet on me. In fact, I was the loser, I was the geek, the nerd. I remember when I was 14, uh, middle school, I was close to an end, and I, I had to decide which kind of high school I was to attend. And my teacher told my mom that I wasn't one of the smart kids. I wasn't good enough. I shouldn't even bother going to the gymnasium, the toughest school in the, in the country in Italy, because I wouldn't be able to make it. And uh, I should better prepare for a job instead. My mom, of course, being the awesome mom that she is, didn't listen to that pile of nonsense and sent me precisely to the school that they said I wouldn't be able to attend. Two years later, I was given a chance and I won a full scholarship for a prestigious college called the United World College, whose mission is to make education a force to unite people, nations and cultures, for peace and sustainable future. And in there I had amazing teachers, I mean the best in the world, who were really just guides, mentors and friends. And they told us that we could be anything we wanted. That having a large positive impact in the world was not a hippie dream, uh, <laughs> but it was a reality. If we believed we could do it, if we had a plan, and if we acted on it. So that gave me the vision and the strength to take on many challenges and that brought me to where I am. Had I listened to my teachers, to some of them in my past, I would have been sweeping the floors of the school by now. But I often wonder, how many people didn't have this opportunity? How many of them were stuck in a small town with uninspired teachers, violent classmates, I was bullied very violently, and no hope on the horizon. In the past couple of years, I traveled extensively to many countries, giving lectures in schools, universities, companies. And I can say that, unfortunately, my story is not really my story. It's a story of thousands of people, cross borders. Some of them had it much worse than I did. And these are just the ones that I spoke to personally. It's probably millions or hundreds of millions, who knows? And so my fear, is that we're teaching kids conformity as a value, where in fact it's the most dreadful of all things. Ken Robinson said that education requires learning, and if there is no learning involved, there is no education. I agree passionately with that statement, and I would add that learning requires passion, it requires curiosity, and that often requires a human being a person, somebody who believes in you, who can give you a chance, somebody who can tell you, no, you are not stupid, no, you're not crazy, go for it. We should be fostering the creativity of our kids. And I think that has a lot to do with mentorship, with guidance, with being human. And that's what I'm working on. That's why I'm here now in Taiwan and I can't be there with you in Rome. I hope I will have a chance to meet you in person at some point and give you a proper hug. But I want to leave you with this. If you can inspire a kid to follow their passion, if you can give them a chance and make them feel special, I can tell you, I can guarantee you from personal experience, you will have saved a life. Now, go and save a life.